Well, this place is ready. We'll be right back to get this series started in just a minute. Field in Minneapolis. MLB The Show brings you the American League Division Series. It's the Los Angeles Angels taking on the Minnesota Twins. John Chomby alongside Chris Singleton. Game one is always critical in a postseason series, Singy. Yeah, and this is when you love having home field advantage, Boog. If you capture game one, you're full of confidence that you've got a chance to ride that momentum for the rest of the series. And on the visiting side, starting pitching is always the big key in a game like this to kick off a series. Yeah, you need a strong performance on the mound. That's the number one way to cancel out the home field edge we just mentioned. First pitch coming your way next. So up next, Michelle Guzman. She's not going to yeah. get cheated up there. No, she's not. She's looking to do damage with every swing she takes. Swung on, and there it goes. It is high. It is far. It is gone. A gigantic blast. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. Chris, she's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and she's got her timing locked in. She's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. She went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think she had her sights set on that pitch. She went and got it and circled the bases. We go to the bottom of the first, and now for the Twins, Byron Buxton. When you examine Buxton's career trajectory, the thing that really jumps out, the speed and the defense early on. And that drops in for a strike. Ground ball right side. Shanowell steps on the bag. And a quick out number one. Batting second. Not shortstop. Carlo. Oh, now Correa yeah. up to hit. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Batting third, the third baseman. Here's Royce Lewis. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And the pitch. And it's fouled away. The Angels leading by a run here in game one of the ALDS. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. But why the kick the pitch? Fouls it back with two strikes. The 2 Goes down looking. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. On to the second from Minneapolis. It's the Angels 1 and the Twins nothing. 
Bottom of the inning. Got the batter no now. Left Matt Walmer. No left fielder. Guzman Matt. measures five feet six Walmer. inches. Just 21 years old. Can't forget to mention she's a former MVP. That one finds the zone. Strike one. This park is absolutely electric for this game. Such a great postseason atmosphere. Here comes a pitch. Swings and misses. Oh, with two down. Nothing like the drama you get in the postseason, Boog. Love being a part of these games. Next offering is downstairs. Got it by him for the K. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Here's Trevor Larnick. Inside corner for a strike. One one. One down, base is empty. And there's a foul ball. Just outside. One and two to count. It's a good take. and miss struck him out that's out number two off to a strong start Singy, as she's punched out three of the first five she's faced well she's definitely minimizing contact she can get the swing and miss when she needs it but she'll also keep the defense fresh behind her allowing some balls in play as well the twins down by a run here in game one two outs outside low and that is ball one well that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss, and she got him. And good work there as she gets a one, two, three. Twins retired in short order, and it remains one nothing. As we go to the last of the third, and now for the Twins, Edouard Julien. Julien. And the right hander back to work. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. Close but called a ball. And the count even one and one. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a foul straight back. And a swing and a miss. 
One gone, bottom of the third inning. Now, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that, that speed off the base the pass, field. it's not just the pitcher, right. it's other guys that have yep. to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Home team down a run here in the last half of the third. That pitch in for a strike, and it's 0 2. And down on strikes, and there's two away. No, oh, that was a pretty poor at bat. He just never got the bat off of his shoulder. I mean, you got to go up there looking the to swing at some point, especially once you're down 0-2. And, and at that uh, point, make an adjustment, look to put the ball in play if it's anywhere close. And I'm just not sure what the plan was there. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. And first offering is fouled off. Two out spaces empty. <laughs> Swing and a miss struck him out. Twins are set down one, two, three. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Game one of the Leading division the series. The now, Michelle Guzman. Michelle Guzman. <laughs> As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Into the outfield, base hit. Runner aboard on the leadoff single. Well, Singy, she is locked in there. She's really slowed the game down, and it's like she's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that she squared up that baseball tells me that she is seeing it like a beach ball. Here's Mike the Trout. Fielder, number 27, Mike Trout. Righty delivers. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Moving under it. Nabs it. And there's one away. The catcher, number 14, Logan Ohapi. Logan Ohapi, the next to hit for the Angels. And a pitch. Run around the goal. Pitch in for a strike. The throw. Tag. And she's out. Just a mechanically sound throw right there. Great footwork. Good transfer. Quick release. All those things that you need to do. You don't have to have the highest velocity. But if you can throw it on the money, you can throw out some fast runners. Buxton stands in now and watches strike one. Swing and a miss. As he was out front that time. The pitch. Got him looking for the K. Strike three called and a slider at the knees. Oh, there's a three pitch strikeout. She can do whatever she wants with the baseball right now. Shortstop, Carlos Correa. And here comes Carlos Correa. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. And right back to the mound. The throw to first. Nope. Two up, two down. Now batting. Third baseman. Royce. Here's the third baseman. Royce Lewis. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Clips the corner. That's strike one. The Twins hitless so far in the game. 
Next offering is in for a strike. She's got a great feel for her breaking ball today. Swing and a miss, and she struck him out. And the Twins go 1-2-3. Nothing doing here for the Twins. They still trail 1-0. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now the left fielder, Matt Walmer. The left fielder, Kuzma, back to work. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One out. Pretty electric stuff showing up on the mound right now. I mean, in the double-digit strikeouts, she should be able to rack up some more before she's done in this one. And you know, not many of these hitters have had much of an answer for what she's offering out there. Trevor Larnick, the next twin up to hit. The bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Larnick, 27 years old, a former first-round pick back in 2018. The 01. Way out front for strike two. Bases empty one away. Last half of inning number five. Right side, hard hit. Slings to first. Home half of the fifth inning moving along. Now Two quick it. outs. Hector. She's doing a nice oh, yeah. job of keeping the ball out of the Hector. air. Let's the defense work behind her with another ground ball. Good execution. Ryan Jeffers at the plate. Struck out swinging his first time. Left field. And it drops in. And that extends the inning. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Just a blue pit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Julian, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. If I'm at the dish right now, I am aggressive over the heart of the plate. She's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get a good pitch to hit. And as nasty as her stuff is, you might as well take all three swings. Two outs. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. Twins wind up stranding one. They're down one nothing. Here we go, you got this. The battle. So in now for the Angels, Michelle yeah. Guzman. She had a big swing for this team way back to the first inning. Yeah, boo, she didn't waste any time in this one. The solo shot really got her team going, and she's looking for more right here. Liner to second, it picked on the high. The first, that's the third out. So they Bottom of the six. Now batting Max win. Kepler. The right fielder. The right hander Max. back to work. Kepler. And that's a strike. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what she does. Got him looking with the knuckler for strike three. Man, that thing just barely got now the zone, is. so you the almost can't blame thing. the guy for laying oh, off. I mean, with the way knuckleballs Damn. dart all Damn. over the place, realistically, that could have just as easily missed by four or five inches. It's such a tough pitch to not overcommit to, so sometimes you just hold up and hope it dances out of the zone. Santana in the box here lets that one go for a ball.
Right side, Shanowell. Steps on first for the out. Now batting, the center fielder, Byron Buxton. So the lineup flips over, and next for Minnesota, Byron Buxton. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. There's a strike. She's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. She's been in attack mode since the very start. Riding to the plate. A little out front there as he swings through it. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Three up, three down, inning over. Make it six shutout innings for her out there now. It's the Angels one and the Twins nothing. Set for the last half of the seventh. And now for the Twins, Carlos Correa. All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. She deals. That one finds the zone. Going one. Looking to get the tying run on base. Chopped in the ground. And he takes it himself for the out. That play won't be trending on social media later on, on but it's zone. still important to execute it to perfection. Man. This game is a lot harder than it looks, Parker. So up next for Minnesota, Royce Lewis. Struck out on just three pitches last time. That one ripped, but foul. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. Strike two. I went to. Trying to hold a one-run lead here in the late stages of game one. Got him swinging. Three. Chris, third time through the order, and a couple of quick outs now for the back. starter. Let's yeah, she's leave. been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. Oh, no. Matt Walmer, the next to hit, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Hit hard on the ground is short. Over to first, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Still in total command on the mound with seven shutout innings. It's the Angels one, and the Twins nothing. Back at target field, onto the bottom of the eighth, and now Trevor Larnick. Guzman back to work. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Well, these twins just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They have guys in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. Right through there for a strike. Set down on strikes. Clip the bottom of the zone with a curve for strike three. A big performance on now the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That oh, was yeah. number 14. Yeah, clearly yeah. trusting herself in this one, Boog. Feeling really good about what she's working with. And that really allows a pitcher to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. Next to hit, Ryan Jeffers. That's in there. Strike one. Pitch. Fought off foul.
One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And there's two away. Had him way out in front of the knuckleball yeah, there. That thing just the floats and dances to the plate. And as a hitter, kind of feels Ooh, like he'll yeah. never get there. You've got to try to find a way to stay on that back leg and just let it travel as deep as possible. Tough to do, though. And now here is Edouard Julien. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Two down, nobody on. And that one fouled off. The pitch. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Eight innings, eight zeros as the shutout continues here. Angels two and the Twins nothing. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Cole Sands. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. And now the DH, Michelle Guzman. She's already homered in this game. This is a true five-tool player. Not very many of them out there, but when she's on the field, you can't take your eyes off her. And a pitch. Ripped on a line to center. Buxton takes the grab. One pitch and one out. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind your... So bottom of the ninth, and now for the Liga, Twins, the Max Twins. Kepler. The right fielder. The line in the pitch. Kepler. Right through there for a strike. Swing and a miss. The hat trick. One out, bottom of the ninth. Took that screwball up there and got him to swing through it. It's kind of part changeup, part curveball, a reverse curveball, I guess. And clearly it's got some good movement on it. We just don't get to see a good one very often, so it's kind of fun to see. And that was a great one right there. Carlos Santana, the next twin up to hit. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Base is empty one away. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. The center fielder. Number so they're down to their final out. Here's Byron Buxton. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. In there, and it's 0-1. For pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead and count. At times, pitch to contact, let the defense work behind her. That's why she's still in the game here in the ninth inning. Guzman is just one strike away. Right through there, got him. That's the ball game. Really incredible performance on the mound. You know she's going to stew a little bit over that one hit that she gave up because when you look at the body of work, so dominant, if she'd have made just one better pitch, perhaps she'd have a no-hitter.
Not a ton of offense to chat about as we look at the final numbers, but this was a good one. Yeah, it was a low-scoring game, Boog, but sometimes those can be the best, especially this time of year. 2-0 your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long 